Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to our lip product declutter. Before we jump into this video, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have, make sure you click that thumbs up button and also make sure the notification bell is clicked so you never miss an upload. But we're gonna hop right into this. As you can see, we have a whole hot mess here. So if you wanna take a guess, do so right now. All right, so what was your guess? Let me know down below. Pause this video. Let me know down below your guess. Ready? 220. 220 lipsticks, lip glosses. Yeah, 220. And who knows what's missing in like random purses, but for now, we're going to go with this stash right here, and this equals out to be 220. So I didn't think I had that many when I was thinking about doing this video, I was like, I don't have that many lip products. This should go kind of quickly. I thought I had less than 100, which is still a ridiculous amount, but I thought I had less than 100, but apparently I don't. So, we'll see how this goes. Come with me. All right, you guys, so I'm like sitting here and I'm super overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to start this thing off. So what we're gonna do is start with these right here. I'm actually going on a trip soon, so I'm taking these along with me. So I figured I would get them out of the way first. I'm just gonna show you what they are. I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills in, what is this called, Bittersweet. I really love this one. The Fenty Beauty Liquid Lipstick. I have this Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in Tootsie. This Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipstick. I have this Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Brooklyn. Kylie Lip Gloss in the shade Like. A Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss in the shade Skin Deep Enamored. This is really, really pretty. And then I have this MAC Lipstick, and this one's in Velvet Teddy. Okay, so in the spirit of trying to do this the easiest way possible, I'm going to try to get all light colors together and bring them to you guys. So, these are my like purples. I really don't have that many. I have like this Wet n Wild shade, which I never even opened. This one is in Shut the Pluck Up. This is actually really pretty, but I'm going to let it go. I just, I just don't need it. Um, these two Kat Von D shades are really, really close to one another, but they're different. If you can see, this one is actually a little darker, so I want to get rid of the lighter one and keep the darker one. So I really love this Ofra one right here. This one's in the shade New Orleans. It's just super pretty, but it's really old, so I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I do want to keep this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a pretty new one, and it is the liquid lipstick in Madison, so, so I want to keep this one. I don't use these squeeze tubes much, so I'm going to let that go. Um, I will keep this Colored Rain in Swerve. I think this is really pretty. This MAC, is this a liquid lipstick? It is. Yeah. I don't really like that. I'm going to let it go. And then I'm also going to let go of this Rimmel Stay Matte. This is like a deep purple, cool tone purple. I just didn't really like the formula, so I'm going to let that one go. All right, next I figure we tackle the red reds. Not like the burgundy reds, but the red, red reds. So that's what these are right here. I have several of those. I'm totally keeping this NARS. I actually just got this one. This, like I said, this Rimmel Stay Matte, I just didn't like the formula of the liquid lipstick, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of this ColourPop one because it's just super old. I love the shade of this Stila one in Rico. It's not red red, but I put it in the red category, so I'm keeping that. I am also going to keep this red NARS pencil here. I want to like keep all of these. I'm definitely keeping this one by Tarte. This is another one that's not like super red, but it just has a different type of tone to it. And this one is in the shade XOXO. I can let go of this Bite Beauty crayon. I will be keeping this one by Wet n Wild though. I'm also going to keep these two and these are by Ofra and NYX Cosmetics. Alright, so I just found another red shade and it's this YSL liquid lipstick. It's like a little sample size, so I'm keeping that. 
Um, and now I also pulled out our like burgundy shades for lack of a better word. So these are all of them. I think there's more of them in that pile, but I'll work on those as I get to them. This is most of them here. So I know I for sure want to keep Max in. This is like a fall staple right here. Such a pretty, look at that. Super pretty, super matte. So we're definitely keeping that. I also have two shades from Wet n Wild that look virtually identical. So I think I'm going to keep this one right here. And this one is in Don't Be a Plum Plum. I'm going to keep that and get rid of this one. I'm also going to get rid of this J-Cap Beauty Wonder lip paint. I don't use lip paint, so I'm going to let that go. For keepers, I'm totally keeping this NARS liquid lipstick. Also this one, look at this. This is by Laga Cloud Lips and it's in the shade Storm. Look how beautiful. It's like a really, really deep burgundy and it's super moisturizing too. So I am keeping that one. Um, I love the shade of this Kathleen Lights one. This one is in um, Havana Nights. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, another, oh, look how deep this is. By Wet n Wild. This is super pretty. Let's swatch this next to, ugh, it's really chalky though. That's too old. That's a pretty, like, look at that deep berry shade. But it's really old and you can tell, so I'm going to let it go. I better check this one. Oh no, this one, this one feels a lot better. As for the rest of these, I'm going to keep these two by Huda Beauty. And I'm also going to keep this one by Dose of Colors. This one is in Black Rose. Other than that, I'm going to get rid of Kat Von D Vampira and also this Ofra Liquid Lipstick as well. Okay, so I seriously do not think we're going to be able to keep everything grouped up. So I just grabbed some colors. Here we go. Let's just pull out the ones I know I'm going to use. Um, these new Sephora, what were these called? These were so cute. They were called like hashtag lip story lipsticks. I'm totally keeping all three of these. Two of them I haven't even opened yet, but I want to get to know these a little better. So I'm keeping those. Next few products that I know I'm keeping are this NARS liquid lipstick. This one's in the shade Slow Ride. It's super pretty. Also this Dose of Colors in Cork. This one's really pretty. And this is a brand new one. This is that Vlada Smashbox and Vlada collection that I got. And this one is in Be Legendary, so I'm totally keeping this. I know for a fact I can get rid of these two. This one is Lena Lashes in Brad. And this one, I got this in a BoxyCharm or something, so I'm just going to go ahead and let it go because I'll never use it. I also know I won't use this Vivid Hot Lacquer by Maybelline. This one's in the shade Tease. It's just too light for me, so I'm going to let that go. And I'm going to let go of this Wet n Wild. This is like a like a metallic-y lip gloss. I'm going to let that one go. This Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine lip gloss is brand new, so I'm going to keep it for now. I don't foresee myself using it too much, but we'll see. I'll give it a chance. I am going to keep this Buxom lip gloss in White Russian. You guys know this is like my favorite. This NYX Powder Puff Lippy is really, really pretty also. Um, what else do we have here? This is a ColourPop Lippy. Uh... I'm going to let it go. It's super old. Same with this one. I don't even know what the names of them are, but they're super old, so I'm just going to let them go. Moving into these last few, this is a Smashbox liquid lipstick. I don't know what it's called, but it's really, really pretty, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, the rest of these, I think I'm going to get rid of. Makeup Revolution, Juice Beauty, Kat Von D, and Lorac. Next set that I have looks like mostly keepers, but let's go through it. This is the Makeup Shayla Lip Gloss in Neat Freak by ColourPop. Totally keeping that one because I love that. This NYX Powder Puff Lippy is a favorite. Sexy Mother Pucker by Soap and Glory is a favorite. Uh, what else do we have? You know what? This MAC Lip Gloss is super old. It's in the shade Dej. Oh, this is the Dej Loaf one. It's old, but I'm going to keep it. I can't get rid of this hot pink makeup revolution. I'm just probably not going to use this shade. And then this Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is very old, so I'm going to let that go as well. Fenty by Rihanna. What is this called? I think it's called the Bomb, the Fenty Glow. 
gloss or whatever it's called. This is amazing and I'm keeping it. Also, this is another new lip gloss, the Smashbox by Vlada, um, the Smashbox and Vlada collab. I'm going to keep this Wet n Wild lipstick. This is just a nice orange lipstick in Party Persimmon. I love this. And I'm also keeping this little Kat Von D duo. I actually not too long ago hauled this, so I can't wait to wear it now that it's fall. Uh, the rest of this, what are we doing here? This is a Bite Beauty. Oh, I really loved this liquid lipstick. I'm keeping this. And then I have another Bite Beauty lipstick. That looks really pretty. We're going to keep that also. And then here's another one that's really cute that I haven't even used. Keeping that too. Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in Griffin. How pretty is this? We're totally keeping that. Um, I'm going to keep this Wet n Wild lip gloss. It's like a metallic lip gloss. I normally don't wear things like this, but I thought it was cute. So I'm keeping it. And I'm also going to keep this like Huda Beauty. It's like a grayish lips. No, I'm not. Huda Beauty got to go. I'm not going to use that. I'm also going to get rid of these other three right here. Okay, so most of these I know are for sure keepers. These are like my most used liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. So this Sexy Mother Pucker Pillow Pump, Pillow Plump, it's such a great little lip gloss and it plumps your lips. So I'm keeping that. Uh, also going to keep this Kat Von D shade in Bow and Arrow. It's like a cult favorite. I haven't used this yet, but it's like a, a metallic lip gloss by Pretty Vulgar. And I want to keep that around to give it a try. Along with this one, this is the Makeup Forever Artiste Metallic Gloss. So I want to keep that around to give it a try as well. Along with my Buxom Lip Gloss, I have another one because I just can't get enough of them. This Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. This one is in the shade Charmer. It's one of my favorite lip glosses, so we're keeping that. Let's just pull out the keepers. So this Huda Beauty is a keeper. Um, this Anastasia Beverly Hills in Trouble. That's really pretty. Here's another one in Ashton. That's another favorite. This Kylie Lip Gloss in Literally is a favorite. Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Dazed, another favorite. Alright, so the only product out of this bunch that I am okay getting rid of are these two right here. This MAC lip glass in see-through has to be like five or six years old, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Bocce, I'm going to let that go too. Alright, so this is a definite pile of random ish just like random lip colors in here so let's see what we have i have this maybelline color blur by lip studio i think i used to really like this but i'm gonna let it go because i haven't used it uh what is this makeup revolution lip gloss this is like peachy shade that i will never use this la girl blue matte lipstick this formula was so awful so i'm gonna get rid of that Wet n Wild Liquid Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick. This one's in Nudie Patootie. It's super nude and I'll just never use it. Let's see. All of these liquid lipsticks, these are old Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. These are super old. Uh, this ColourPop gray one is super old. This Kat Von D one, I just don't like it. Let's look at some of these lipsticks. This is a red. I think I have plenty of reds to keep me happy. So I'm going to let that go. Oh, I'm totally keeping these. These black and gold look black and gold lipsticks by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna keep both of those. It's makeup forever. Oh, that's pretty, but I feel like I have a million just like it. Ugh, I'll keep it for a little bit. Here's another gray. It's a Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick by Maybelline. I don't need all these grays, so I'm going to let that go. Um, oh, I used to love this lipstick. This is the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Blush. It is so flipping pretty. I just haven't worn it in so long. With a brown lip liner, this pink is so pretty. I think I'm going to keep it. Here's a MAC Mineralized Lipstick in Touch the Earth. I don't know why I ever thought this color is was flattering, but I'm going to let that go. All right, Revlon lipsticks. Some of my favorite, like, regular lipsticks at the drugstore at the drugstore are these Revlon ones. And these are in Vava Violet, Black Cherry, and Mauve Night. My three favorite shades out of that whole freaking line. <sighs> that is cute. Like, look at this. Huh. Doesn't have 
have as much pigment as I remember now that I'm swatching it. So I'm going to let it go. This one is Black Cherry. Look how pretty though. They're not giving me the feels like they used to. So I think I know. That's how I know it's time to get rid of them. This one's in Mauve Night. Yeah, none of them are giving me the feels like before. So, uh, Beach Bum by Tarte. What is this? Ooh, that's cute. That's cute. Let's keep that. This is a City Color Be Matte Lipstick. Oh, that's pretty, but that looks like what I just watched. It's a little darker, but it's really close. So we can let this, let's keep this just for comparison purposes. Here's another one in Blush My Lips. Uh, this one doesn't wow me. I'll let it go. What is this? An Ulta Matte Liquid. Ooh, that's pretty. This is an Ulta shade in Mulberry. Let's keep that. And this is an e.l.f. shade in Rich Red. I'm going to let this go. This is their matte lip color. Let's move into the next bin. This one, another random type bin. Uh, again, don't use these types of lipstick, so... That's going to go, what is this? This is another lipstick by Makeup Forever. It's pretty, but it's not wowing me. Looks like I have the two, two of the same liquid lipsticks here by Makeup Forever. This one is in the shade 105, so I'm going to let one of these go. A Tarte Tardius Lip Paint. This looks really pretty. It's in the shade Hangry. I'm going to keep that. Smashbox. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's cute. That can stay. Ooh, this is pretty. This one's called Wine Room, and it's by Wet n Wild. That almost reminds me of the Lolita I just put away. That's cute. We keep that. CoverGirl Melting Pout Gel Liquid Lipstick. I did not love this formula, so I'm going to let it go. Uh, it's a NARS. This one's super old. In Rakujin, it's just one of their lip pencils. I'm going to get rid of this. This Tardiest Lip Paint, this one is actually very pretty in Namaste, so I'm keeping that. And here's another one. What's this one in? Birthday Suit. This was cute, too. Oh, yeah, that was pretty. So let's keep those. Lastly, I have these two Urban Decay lipsticks. These are, I don't know how old. These are in the shade Naked 2 and Liar. I got these when these lipsticks first came out, which was years ago. And I just don't feel like I need them anymore. They're cute colors, but they're way too old for me to try to keep. We're doing pretty good, you guys. On to the next one. This one, I don't know. Let's just get, dive in. This one's by the brand Collab. It's a red lipstick. Just don't feel like I need it, so I'm going to let it go. Oh, this one's by Ofra Cosmetics. It's a super light pink, and I probably won't wear it, so I'm going to let that go as well. This Morphe liquid lipstick was really pretty. It's in the shade Unsettled. It's really pretty. I'm going to keep it for now. Must have bought a bunch of these. This is another one of those Rimmel Stay Matte liquid lipsticks that I really just was not enjoying the formula. So, you got to go, boo. Along with this Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer, it's just not the color that I like, so you got to go, too. All right, we have a MAC lipstick in here. This is the MAC Laura Lee lipstick. It's actually super pretty, which I hate to admit because she's on my shit list. But I'm going to keep it right now. ColourPop Lippy Stick in Fab 5. What does this look like? Oh, that's cute. Oh, you cute. Oh, yeah, we keeping that. Oh, I used to love this. This NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. It's so old, though, so I got to get rid of it. But I used to love this thing. Didn't I already get rid of one of these? Let's get rid of this one, too. This is the Kat Von D. Yeah, in K-Dub. I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, look at this Wet n Wild one. This one's in Urban Night. How cute is that color? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My swatches are terrible, y'all, but y'all get the picture. This color is pretty. We keep it. All right, so I just pulled out some ones that I'm going to get rid of. That's this one in Girlactic, this Lorac Lip Pencil, Ofra Cosmetics, Makeup Revolution, and then this Real Her Liquid Lipstick. The rest of these, I think I'm going to keep. I had these two shades. These were like the Makeup Shayla. 
the Makeup Shayla shades from ColourPop. I'm going to keep both of those. I'm going to keep this. No, I'm not. I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't even know what brand this is. I will be keeping this Essence Matte Liquid Lip Gloss. It's a lip gloss. Matte lip gloss. Matte long lasting lip gloss. Y'all couldn't get that out for nothing. And I'm going to keep all the rest of these as well. So now we are on to the big boy. I freaking love this thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it holds what I think 54 lipsticks or liquid lipsticks. I love this thing. So um, yeah, we'll see what's in here. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in here that needs to go. So let's just dive right in and get started. One thing I noticed off the bat is this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. I just wouldn't use this shade as much as I should plus I think I have so many more that look like this so I'm gonna let this one go I have these two shades here from LA colors this is their matte liquid lip color I think I'm gonna keep both of these this one's not even open but I want to give these a shot so I'm gonna keep both of those I also have my Kylie liquid lipsticks here the only one that looks remotely interesting that I want to keep is this one right here this one's in the shade love bite other than that these three can go I'm not even sure what brand this is. I probably got this in like an Ipsy back in the day. It's Ades, Ades High Definition Liquid Lipstick. I have so many colors like this, so we're going to get rid of this one also. And I'm just looking here. This Ofra, this is pretty, but I probably won't wear it, so I'll let it go. Same with this Morphe. I'll let that go too. Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. Any Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks that I have are super old and I just don't need them, so we'll get rid of them. These are also Gerard Cosmetics. These three ColourPop liquid lipsticks and then this Ofra, I don't need either of them, so I'm going to let them go. I will be keeping this Tarte Tardius liquid lipstick in the shade Rave. Such a pretty color, so I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to keep my two YSL liquid lipsticks just for nostalgia's sake. They're so pretty, so I'm going to keep both of those. All right, what do we have up here? Two Anastasia Beverly Hills. One is a lip gloss in Black Cherry. I don't know how I feel about deep lip glosses like this, so I'm going to let it go. But I will be keeping the liquid lipstick. This is in Sepia. Two lipsticks from Dose of Colors. These are regular lipsticks, but uh, they just don't tickle my fancy like, I, like they used to. This one's in Cinnamon Swirl. And then this one, this one's kind of pretty. Let's keep them both for now. I'll just keep them both. This one's in Lava Cake. Okay, so there was a point in time when I was obsessed with these NYX lip lingeries, and I had pretty much every color, but it, I honestly, clearly, I don't need every color. So, oh, I don't know. This is one. I don't feel like I need this one. I also don't feel like I need this grayish one here or this one. So these three, I know off the back can go. This color was really, really cute. I really liked this one. This one is in number 12, so I'm going to let that go. I'm going to get rid of this one. Ooh, I want to keep this too. This one's in the shade number 14. Super pretty. Let's keep it. As for the rest of these, ugh, these are so similar. These three are just super similar. Don't know why I needed all three of those, but I'm gonna let all three of them go. But I will be keeping this chocolate one in number five. Last but not least, we're gonna focus on my MAC babies. These are like original MAC bullet lipsticks. I don't wanna give any of them up, but let's see what we got here. I have these two in Viva Glam 2 and Viva Glam Rihanna Frost. And to be quite honest, I will probably never wear these again, but it's in the cute little red packaging. Why do I have to give these up? You're right, I don't. So let's keep them. I don't think I'm gonna give up any of these. These are in Heroin and the Gabriel Zamora collab he did with MAC. So that one looks like that. It's like right up my alley. And then this one's in Heroin, which I really love as well. Dark Side and Candy Yum Yum. Do y'all remember Candy Yum Yum? Oh my Lord Jesus. These were like favorites of mine. I'm going to keep them both for now. I think I'm just
just going to keep all of these. Here, I'll show them to you guys, but I'm going to keep all of them. This is Ruby Woo and then the Viva Glam Nikki 2. So it's Nicki Minaj's collab. And then Ruby Woo. We have Rebel, which was another favorite. And then Breath of Fire. Super cute. Riri Wu and Viva Glam Nikki, the first one. I liked Riri Wu better than Ruby Wu. That's Riri Wu. It was less drying. And then that's Nikki. Stone and Diva, another favorite of mine. I went through like three Divas. And then the last two I have are Cream Cup and Viva Glam Gaga 2. So there's the Gaga and then Cream Cup. And that's it, you guys. We went through everything. So I'm going to go through what we got rid of and I'll let you know our final totals. Okay, you guys, so here are our two piles. We got rid of 95 lip colors. 95 so that leaves me with 125 lip colors which is a lot more workable than 220 okay it may still sound crazy and it probably still is crazy but it's a lot less crazy than this crazy all right so we got rid of 95 that's almost half I'm very very proud of myself for getting rid of all of these I'll probably go through maybe come to my senses and get rid of a few more but for right now these this is our final count. This is what is going. So thank you guys so much for watching as usual. I have one more video in this declutter series and then I will be showing you guys a room tour and makeup collection and organization and all that fun stuff. So if you're looking forward to that, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below and let me know what part of my makeup collection was your favorite. And if you missed any of the videos, I'll have them all linked at the top. I don't know which side, but I'll have them all linked at the top so you can catch up before we get to the final video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel, and I'll talk to you in the next one.